Okay guys, uh, thank you for coming in early today. I just wanted to have a quick chat with my bullpen before the rest of the team got here. Uh, and just see how you guys are doing. Um, you know, you may have noticed recently that you've been coming into a lot of really close, tense games. Uh, then while you guys are on the mound, the other team scoring a lot of runs, uh, we end up losing. Now, you know, if I'm being completely honest with you, and I do, you know, think honesty is important, um, I prefer that wasn't happening. Hi hey guys, it's Mosley Villain, and welcome to episode 7 of the Baseball Journeyman at the Berlin Flamingos. And today we end our first season at the club, and we need to win to get to our 500 uh, record for the season. Uh, you can see where everybody be has been doing here, as tends to be the case in the uh, German league. Bats rule supreme, pitching has, has let us down, and as you've just seen, the bullpen... I'll show you the results in just a second. The bullpen is absolutely killing us. We need to strengthen the bullpen for next season. Um, there's a couple of records that are upcoming this episode, uh, potentially. Uh, so I'll get to those in just a second, too. You can see how everyone's been doing. We're sort of third or fourth in, in most categories, uh, which sort of represents where we are on the table here. Um, yeah, so it is what it is, and it will end the season today and uh, hopefully strengthen for next season. Let's go and have a quick look at the schedule and see. Well, actually, one news uh, item to catch up on is Fabian Glatzer, one of our better bullpen pitchers, supposedly, uh, torn labrium in the shoulder, three to four months recovery. Um, and we've seen in the past when pitchers get these sorts of injuries that it can mean the end of their careers. So it might mean um, we may actually look to trade him this summer and but he's not going to be able to trade until he comes back from injury. But that's that's really, really disappointing because um, he was looking to be a very good prospect at only 19 years of age. But we'll have a quick look at well, what's happened since last episode. We left off, if we just go back here, we left off... Uh, where are we here, wasn't we, when we beat Solheim. Uh, we then had a two-game series against Cologne. Game one here, um, they were just a good pitching team in this one. 2-1, uh, they beat us. Six hits to five, we outdid them. Um, but yeah, their, their pitcher just absolutely dominated us. And Tiga had a good game as well. Very, very harsh on him to, to, to not pick up a win, uh, only giving up one earned run. Glatz up. You can see there, gave up a run as well. Um, and yeah, a bit of a narrow defeat there. But then we came back in game two of that series and absolutely destroyed them. Um, unfortunately, in, in a way, uh, for us, it, was, uh, it, was, it wasn't it was the pitching that got, got the job done for us. Avar was shockingly poor, giving up seven runs in just three innings. But uh, Bronkhorst came in and did a decent job. French Fries cleared it up for us. But we hit really, really well in this one. Uh, Kowale hit two triples in this one. Uh, he had three hits uh, from his four at-bats with five RBIs. Mills Jr. with four RBIs as well. Um, it was just a really, really good hitting performance, which was just as well because uh, the pitching, as I said, was, was poor. Then we played the Paderborn Untouchables. Game one here. Um, we were really, really good until the eighth innings. The bullpen came on and just absolutely ripped the game to shreds for us. Otherwise, the pitching was brilliant. Hitting, as you would expect against one of the better teams, wasn't particularly good. We sent uh, Antigua against uh, their main guy. Um, you can see there, he's 10-1 and one this season. He's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, but it was, again, it was Platt and it was Broncos. It was mostly Platt out of the bullpen that just... Just killed the game for us. So that was the first game in the series. The second game in the series, um, again, bullpen absolutely killed us. We were actually winning this one, though. We were tied at two in the fifth. Uh, and guess when, uh, Guess I mean, Abar gave up two runs. But again, French fries and Werner out of the bullpen. Just, the game just got away from us. And it's really, really disappointing because we would do with You know, we're competing with the best team in the division. I believe they have actually wrapped up uh, the division. Um... We were competing with them till our bullpen comes in, and then we just have nothing to offer. Then we played Hamburg. Um, this was a close game until the seventh, and then look at that. We scored 12 runs in the seventh innings and blew it to pieces. Um, so that was really, really good. Uh, the star of the bat of this one was uh, Reichert, our second baseman, three for five with five RBIs. Prade hit four, or got four RBIs as well. Um, it was just a really, really good performance. And Kowale uh, with a home run in this one um, as well, which is always good to see. Pitching side of things, Antigua, six innings, four in runs. And then Platt came in, uh, ended up getting himself a win after blowing it. But only basically because he was on the mound when we got 12 runs in the seventh there. So uh, he kind of lucked into that win somewhat. Uh, and then game two was a little bit closer. Um, but it was made look closer because they hit a grand slam in the ninth. So... 
you know, it, it was a game that we were relatively in control of until that ninth inning. So I think it came, the Grand Slam might have come with two outs in the ninth, and then the bases were cleared, and it was relatively comfortable. But again, bullpen doing its best to cost us. Broncos gave up three runs in two innings, and Carr gave up the Grand Slam uh, with the other two, so the two runs that he was responsible for, and then got the final out to win it for us. Um, but yeah, so it was a good uh, sweep of that series. Then we played the uh, Wild Farmers here. Uh, game one it was a really, really good hitting performance from us. 20 hits, 14 runs, uh, hit consistently through the game as well, which was good. There were two home runs for us in this one. Um, they were hit by Rice Search. Uh, he got one of the home runs, and Van Mansell got the other home run. So four RBIs for Rice Church, who's been absolutely on fire, uh, as you may have noticed. Mansell got himself uh, three RBIs. Um, and the pitching side of thing wasn't too bad. Antigua, six innings for two earned runs, and Broncos, three innings for two earned runs as well. Um, so that was good. And then game two of this series, we just, against a left-handed pitch shot, we just, we couldn't hit. We couldn't hit. We went down three to one. Um, again, it was a little bit unlucky in the sense that we pitched not too bad. Abar, seven points at one innings, three earned runs. Platt came out and closed out the eighth, but obviously we didn't get a chance to to make them bad again. So that was a disappointing loss and a costly loss as it turns out because then we went and played uh, the Dortmund Wanderers and again, the bullpen absolutely killed us. Gave up eight runs in the seventh innings. It was a relatively close game until then uh, and as it turns out, you know, it did actually cost us if we shut out sort of from there, we would have ended up winning it. Um, but they have, we'll see, this is of course we have game two of this series coming up. Um, their, their, their guy here, Criado, is absolutely just a monster. You look at that, he's batting over 500 coming into the last game of the season. Ridiculous, ridiculous numbers. Um, and Tiga did okay, 5.1 innings, three earned runs. But again, Platt came out, eight runs, four of them earned. Um, bullpen's killing us. Bullpen is absolutely smashing us to pieces. Um, so there we go. That's where we stand coming in. We could bring the standings up here coming into the last game of the season. Uh, we need to win to get ourselves to uh, the 500. Um, and I'm not sure if we win. If I think having lost to Dortmund in that last game, I think they'll beat us for third in the division anyway. But we want to try and make sure that we are getting ourselves to, um, yeah, to at least 500 to keep the owner happy. Now, some records that are upcoming for this one. I'll talk, we'll have a look at the team and then I'll talk you through the records as we get into the game. So this is the lineup. And we can see it's uh, Roshek leading us off the designated hitter. Prade batting second at right field. Mills Jr. batting uh, third. He's the catcher. It's Kowale uh, at first base. He's cleaning up. It's uh, Van Mensel uh, at five in center field. It's Aldrich, the left fielder, batting six. It's Reichert on fire, uh, batting seven at second base. Nick Wagner at third base, bats eight. Tonus Pepe, the shortstop, bats nine. It's Abar taking the mound for us. We're up against Maschert's. This guy, uh, shocking to find out he's Polish, but that name, isn't it? ERA of 550, so he's not the worst. He has a positive war. Um, so this is a relatively even game coming in for the final one. We have to win. Uh, the matchups, though, do look as if they are just in our favor. So it's Abar on the mound to face Borna, who's batting 378 this season. Now, there's, as I said, some couple of records coming up. Abar needs two strikeouts this game for a new uh, Flamingos uh, single season club record. You'd back him to get two strikeouts, and at two and two on the leadoff man here, he just might uh, just might tie that record. We also have uh, Kowale, who needs two RBIs to set a new uh, single season club record. That's been popped up. It should be caught there by Rochet. No, it's Pape. It's going to make the catch. So Kowale, two RBIs to um, to set a club record. Roshek, our leadoff hitter, he has 49 hits for the season, so one away from 50. And if he gets two hits, he will set a new club record as well. That's been popped up. It's, uh, is it uh, Prade in right field? I think I always figure, forget who's in right field, who's in left field. It is Prade out there, so Aldrich is in left field. That's two away. Abar now to face Kristoff, who's batting. And that, that guy just popped up. He's the guy batting 5'10 this season. Um, so Kristoff batting 362. So yeah, potentially a few single season club records could go today, which is nice to see records broken in our first uh, first season at the club. Um, that retires them in the top of the first, and let's hope we can get off to a good start now here and get some runs. All right, Roshek batting 408 this season. He's uh, he could potentially set a new batting average record as well. I think he needs to stay above 390 odd, uh, but that's not uh, going to get the job done. And that is the first out of the game for us anyway. It's uh, Prade coming up now. He is batting 358 this season. Prade up the middle. That's going to be the first hit of the baseball game. And that is 
a man at first. Excellent stuff. A one-out single there for Prade. Um, yeah, I mean, if we're looking where we need to strengthen next season as Mills comes in, batting 377 this season, we need to strengthen pitching. Uh, ideally, bullpen, the, the starters aren't the worst. Um, bullpen needs to be strengthened. Our hitting is acceptable, I think, as Kowale comes in batting 291 this year. First pitch swing, Kowale. It sounded okay off the bat, but it's going to be caught out there in center field, just at the track. Can Prade get himself to 30? Can, and with two out, we have runners at the corners. And a chance here for Van Mensel to drive in a run. He's batting 361. You can see by our batting averages, they're acceptable as he drives in that go-ahead run for us. And are we going to get the runner to third? It looks like we are. So Van Mensel has done very, very well there to give us the lead. Aldrich comes in now, batting 364 this season. Owen oh, one's the count on him. And that is lined out to second, and that'll do it for the first. But we do have a lead, which is excellent. Um, yeah, I mean, our hitting, I think, is acceptable again for next season. I do think if we can, we've got to try and snap up the best German pitchers we can. Uh, and that is one strikeout for Abar. He ties the single-season club record. He is one away now. A full count. Is this the moment that Abar sets the new club record? No, it is not. And in fact, it's a hit that's almost cleared the fence. It's going to be a one-out sing a double, hopefully. No, he's going to turn, go for third, and it's a triple. For the Wanderers, uh, what, well, second hitter of the innings. I don't know what position he is because I don't know any of these players. Leon Still. Uh, all right, it brings up Bolze, who is batting 333 this year against A Bar. Three and one's the count, and he puts another man on board. Just setting up the double play there, though, aren't you? It's Tobias Webb batting 305 this season. Full count. Walks another one, loaded the bases. He just wants the force at home. Let's go with that. Come on, Adrian. Come on, mate. It's Lentz to the plate, batting .097 this season. He's going to walk a run in. Abar ties the game with a walk. Still loaded bases with one out. It's Wesh <laughs> up to the plate, batting 133 this year. Come on, Adrian. He's one and two. Is this the moment for the record? Hey, there it is. So Abar sets a new single season club record. It's Mel Borner back up. He is 0 for 1 today. Can we get another strikeout and end this? Oh, it's going to get through and that's going to probably score two. Aldrich, get that in, mate. He can't. And we fall behind 3 to 1. You can see Dortmund, are, they're a step up from a lot of the other teams. This is uh, Cristiano, who is just an absolute monster this season. 1 and 2 is the count. That is hit into left field. Can Aldrich make a play? No, he can't. Can he keep the runner at third? Again, no, he cannot. And we're 4-1 down. And this innings is becoming very, very damaging indeed, isn't it? Christoph comes up now. He's 0-1 today. We need to end this, Adrian. Come on, mate. That's been popped up. It should be caught out there by Prade. And that will end the top of the second. But some serious damage done as we find ourselves 4-1 down. Reischertz to lead us off. He is batting 319 this season. A first pitch swing from him. He slaps it into uh, right field. It's going to drop in. And it is a leadoff single for our second baseman. Excellent, excellent stuff. Nick Wagner comes up to bat now. Batting 244 this season. Full count on him. Can he juice a walk? No, he strikes out. That was a walk, mate. That was your fourth ball. Pape comes up now. He is horrible. Batting 174 this season. One that knows the count. Oh, Pape down the right field line, and that's going to be a double. I take it back, mate. You're not that bad. And Reichert just turning for home, and he's going to get there. Pape with the RBI double. Halves the lead. It's 4-2 that we are behind now. Rochette comes in with a chance here for 50 hits. Can he get it? Owen wants the count. Reichert down the third base line. That's not going to get the job done. That is two away, and it's going to be Prade now coming up to bat. He is one for one today. Can he get himself a second hit of the game? He yeah, can. Can Pape come in to score? He can. It's four to three with the RBI single. And, well, we're undoing some of the damage, which is good. All right. Byron Mills Jr. now, who is one for one today. Can he do something? He has got a hit. It's going to drop in, and it's going to be a bit of a two-out rally going here as Prade heads for third. Two out runners at the corners. 
and it is Kowale now with a chance to uh, to get himself an RBI. Remembering he needs two to set the club record. Two and two's the count. Kowale, he has got one. I don't think it's going to score the man from first, but he is now one RBI away from setting a club record as he gets the RBI single. The two-out rally continues. And it's Van Mansell who, of course, hit the RBI last time around. What can you do this time? Two and one is the count. He has got it, and he's tied the ball game. We get four runs. No, he doesn't. Is it, we're in front? We're we in front now. We are in front. Excellent stuff. I'm a run, run behind. Aldrich now to continue, hopefully, this two-out rally. He's 0 for 1 today. What can he do? He has popped it up, and that'll do it. But whatever they can do, we can do as well. Oh, he's dropped it. It's a shocking error, and it's going to drive in another run. Uh, that it was a simple catch in right field, and he's muffed it. Reichert's now with a chance to extend this lead. He's one for one today. And he has not done it. Assuming the first baseman can catch, that will do it for the innings. But not only have we matched them, we've gone be one better than them. It's 6-4. <laughs> it's a tennis game after two innings. Abar to continue now to Adrizana. And let's see what he can do. Two and two's the count. There we go. There we go. He extends his club record now. It's Leon Still who, of course, got a hit last time up. Two and two's the count. Can he sit him down this time? Oh, he can. He needed it one time around to figure him out. And this time, he is striking them out with for fun. Bolze comes up. He uh, walked, I think, last time, didn't he? Three and... Oh, three and two. Otherwise known as a full count. <laughs> two out walk. Webb comes up to bat. He's uh, He walked last time up as well, didn't he? Oh, and one is the count. That has been well hit. Aldrich is there, though. He makes the play, and that ends the top of the third. All right, can we further extend this lead now? Nick Wagner to lead us off. He's 0 for 1 today. Full count on our leadoff man. What can Wagner do? He watches ball 4, and that is the leadoff man aboard. It's Pape, who was a little bit less terrible after his hit last time up. Come on, mate. There we go. That's the Pape we know and love. Strikes out. That's one away. Runner at first for... Uh, for Roshak, of course, still stuck on 49 hits for the year. And he remains stuck on 49 hits for the year. Is he destined to fall short? It's Prade now, who's two for two today. Two out, one and two's the count. He watches strike three, and that'll do it for the third. Still 6-4 up. As Abar comes up to face Lentz, who walked last time up. 0-1 oh, is the count on the leadoff man. He's popped it up. We've got Men Menzel there. Oh, he makes a good catch out there in center field. Well done, mate. Excellent stuff. Abar now to face West, this guy, who is 0-1 today. 1-2 and 2 is the count. Sitting down, Adrian. Yo, -ho, yo, Adrian. There we go. Love your work, mate. It's Borna to the plate now. 1-2 for two he is today. With two RBIs, it's a full count. And another strikeout. All right. He's going now, isn't he? Just had a bit of a blip there in the fourth. It's Mills to lead us off, who's two for two today. One and one's the count. Mills leads us off with a hit towards center field, over center field, and that could be triple territory. It bounces back off the fence. Center field picks it up, gets it in, but Mills is going to find himself at third. A leadoff triple for Byron Mills Jr. And surely, with no one out, we can uh, extend the lead here. Kowale, now, this is for the record, isn't it? It's an excellent chance. 0-2's the count. Kowale slaps it down the right side, and that is going to be the record. That is an RBI for him, isn't it? The scoreboard attendant, very unclear on that one, but we'll give it to him. Hopefully I'm right. I'm sure that's still an RBI. I think it's just a double play that it isn't. And, oh, it's another hit from Van Mensel. That is going to be at least a double. Nothing more than that, it looks like, as he slides into second. A one-out double for our center field up. And a chance here to further extend the lead as they make the pitching change and Mada comes out to pitch. He, that sounds like a German name. That's uh, someone we might look to... Uh, See if we can poach through the, the offseason here. Aldrich comes up to bat. He's 0 for 2 today. Come on, Aldrich. Let's see what he's got. He grounds at the second base. It's going to move the runner over to third as we go two out. And it's going to bring up Reichek now, who's 1 for 2 with a chance to drive in another run. 0 and 1's the count. What can he do? 
He's hit it well. Is it well enough? It's going to be... Oh, a really good catch out there in right field. Unlucky. We do tack on a run, though. We're 7-4 up now as we go into the fifth. Abar to continue to Cristaldo, who is an absolute... Imagine being a professional baseballer and batting over 500 in a season. That's just ridiculous numbers. Pape makes the play there, though, and sits him down. Abar to continue now to Christoph, who's 0 for 2 today. 1 and 2 is the count. And that's a strikeout. Excellent stuff. Two away. Adrizana to the plate now. Not that one. And it's another strikeout. Perfect. Don't know what happened to uh, to Adrian in that second innings though, but he certainly bounced back, hasn't he? Nick Wagner now, who's 0 for 1 today. First pitch swing from him. Pops it up into right center. It's going to be a simple cut. Well, we say it's going to be a simple catch. He's dropped one out there already today, but he makes that one. And that is one away for Pape, who's 1 for 2. Oh, and two's the count. It's going to be a Pape strikeout, is it? No, he's hit it towards third base. It is a Pape out, though. And that's two away. Which brings Roshek up. 0 for 3 today. Is this the moment? He's going to strike out again. What has happened to Roshek? Stilled on 49 hits for the season. Leon still to lead them off. He's 1 for 2 today. 2 and 2's the count on the leadoff man. Abar gets the ground ball to Pape over to first. And that's 1 away. All right, it's Bolze now comes up. He's 0 for 0 today as Adri uh, as uh, Abar goes over 100 pitches for the game. That's going to be a one-out single. And again, I'm not sure if our lead is big enough for the bullpen, but we're about to find out as French Fries comes in. He's going to face Webb with one-out runner at first. 0 for 1 today is the hit-up. 1 and 2 is the count. Come on, Frenchie. Sitting down, mate. Sitting down. I'm not sure our lead's big enough for this. <laughs> and that is a one-out single as the runner goes to second. Lentz comes up to bat. He's 0 for 1 today. First pitch swing. Can you give us a double play, mate? It's oh, line to Pape. Runners get back, and that's two away. All right. Let's see if we can get the center fielder. The number nine hitter. We really do need this, don't we? That has been popped up. Van Mintzel is there at the fence. He's going to make a catch. He does, and we get out of that. We need to negotiate three innings now with a three-run lead. Can we extend it, though? Prade, who is two for three today. Full count on our leadoff man. Can he get himself on base? No, he cannot. Mills Jr. comes on now. He is three for three today. One and two is the count on him, and he strikes out. Kowale now. He does have two RBIs. Okay, so we did get the record last time around. Full count on him. And he strikes out as well. You can see the difference between bullpens, can't you? The difference between, I'd say, a, 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 a run-of-the-mill team and a good team in this league is very much, it's the bullpen. We've seen, we can go, we can go sort of run for run or innings for innings with even, with even the untouchables. That's a home run. And our lead is cut to one. But as soon as our bullpen comes on, that's what's costing us. And it's cost us big time against teams that bullpen is better than us. French fries now to Christophe. That's the ground ball. That'll be one away. Um, Adrizana now comes up to bat. He's 0 for 3 today. What can Frenchy do with him? That is a ground ball to Pape. Does he have a play? He does. And that's two away. We're going to need more runs uh, for sure here. Still now to face French fries. Three and one's the count. He walks him. That, of course, brings the go-ahead run to the plate now in Bolze. He's one for one today. Come on, Frenchie. Oh, and two's the count. Sitting down. He does. All right. Good job, Frenchie. All right, we stretch with a one-run lead. Our bullpen exposed. And Van Mensel, who is three for three, to lead us off. One and two's the count. Come on, mate. That's a strikeout, one away. Aldrich now, who's 0 for 3, and really, his form has dropped off the second half of this season. He strikes out, I'll tell you what. This pitcher is absolutely killing us, isn't he? It's Reischertz now, who's 1 for 3 today. Owen oh, 2's to count on him as well, and Reischertz strikes out. All right, come on, Frenchie. Get us through this innings, and then Carr can come out and try and close it out for us. He's going to face Webb, who's one for two today. He's got the bottom of their order, so if he's going to do it, this is these are the three that he'd want. That's popped up. Aldrich is there. Aldrich makes the play. That's one away. 
All right, come on, Frenchie. We need these three outs, or these last two outs, I should say. 0 for 2 is this guy. 0 and 2 the count. There's a strikeout for the Fries man. Two away for this guy. Is it Vetche? I didn't know how you'd say that. Anyway, he's 0 for 3. Can we keep the O, please, mate? First pitch swing. He hasn't hit a home run, has he? No, it's going to stay in. Aldrich is there. Please, please make double sure of this, mate. He does, and we get out of the eighth. We have Carr, who is one of our better pitchers. He's our only decent bullpen pitcher left with the Glatzer injury. It's going to be Wagner to face Matter now, and we need this guy out of the game, don't we? He's destroyed us. He's ripping through our lineup like there is no tomorrow. He's coming towards the end, but he's almost certainly going to get this inning done. Pape now comes in to face him. Full count. Pape, oh ho ho, Pape with a second hit of the game. As if he's the one to get hold of this guy. Unbelievable, it's a one-out single, and that'll do it for him. All right, they still have, well, how is their bullpen so good? Anyway, anyway, it's uh, Roshek now, on still on 49 hits, of course. This is probably his final chance, and he walks. Well, at least you're on base, mate. You've sacrificed your chance, but you're on base. Two on, one out. Prade now, who's two for four. Oh, and what, uh, sorry, one and two is the count. Prade has got a piece of it, but it's popped up into left field. That's not going to advance any runners. And with two out, we have runners at first and second for Mills Jr. Can he do something here? He's three for four today. We would love some few extra runs here, mate. He walks. And it's Kowale coming up. Oh, it wasn't him. It was uh, Tovar that came into bat. No. Tovar was... Tovar's... Oh, Tova pinched running. What happened to Pape? Did we? Why would we take out our best offensive shortstop when we're running? Anyway, okay, Kowale. One for three today. Is this his chance? One and two to the count, and he watches strike three. Oh, it's pitiful. It's pitiful. And we don't have Pape at shortstop now either. It is Tyler Carr, though, to come in and try and close this thing out for us. He is the one guy out of the bullpen that you think, yes, he could do a job here. It's Borner. He's up against the top of the order. He's one for three today. Two and one is the count. Come on, Carr. We need this, mate. This is for 500. It's a leadoff single. The go-ahead run comes to the plate. And that go-ahead run is the absolute, I'd say, star of the league, batting 514. Two for three today with a home run and three RBIs. What can Tyler Carr do with him? One and two's the count. Oh, ho -ho, he strikes him out. Go on, Carr. Excellent stuff. Kristoff now, who's 0 for 4. 2 and 2. And Carr strikes him out as well. All right, we're one out away. That go-ahead run is still at the plate. It's David Clawson that's coming into pinch hit, batting 3-10 this season. 1 and 2's the count. This is for 500. It's lined into left field, and it's going to get the runner to third, is it? Aldrich cannot prevent it. It's a double. And the go-ahead run stands at second. What have I done to deserve these bullpens and these closers? Unbelievable. All right, it's still now. Who has won for three today? This is it. We need it to first pitch swing. They've walked him. It does get the force at home. I guess there's some logic in it. Bolze comes up now. He is one for two today. This is huge. It's 0-2. It's hit. It's deep. It's over center field's head. And it's a bases clearing double. And just like that, we're 9-7 down. Carr's ERA is over 12. And I don't understand why I've offended the baseball bullpen pitching gods so badly. That should be caught out there by Prade. And we have work to do in the ninth, or we are going to end this season two games back of 500. And it does make you wonder, if that's the case, are we going to even be around next season? How have they got another good pitcher out of their bullpen? He's, this guy's German as well. These are the sorts of guys we need to find and we need to sign for next season. All right. His ERA is over nine, though. So maybe he's not as good as he looks. It is Van Mensel to lead us off. Three for four today. He's done his part, but can he continue this for us? Full count and he strikes out. That was surely ball four. We are one out down. Aldrich, who has looked horrible today, and he's 0-2 again. Oh, he's got himself a hit. All right, a one-out single for Denny Aldrich. 
Can the bottom of our order get this done for us? Rice Shirts now, who's one for four today. First pitch swing from him. He has got it through as well, and that is two on. The tying run is on board. The go-ahead run comes to the plate. The winning run goes to, comes to the plate. It's going to be Tim Wagner, pinch hitting for his brother, Nick. He's only batting 233 this year, but he should be better than that. One and two's the count. Wagner strikes out. And it's Kinnapin, the backup shortstop, batting 148 this year with two outs. Full count. Can he get a walk, mate? No, he cannot. And that'll do it. We've snatched defeat from the jaws of victory yet again. So there we go. I mean, you, you just expect better from someone who clearly, well, not obviously not, but both OSA and Head Scout ratings have him as very good pitcher indeed. And I don't understand why his ERA in the German league is over 12. That shouldn't be happening. And it's really, really cost us. We end the season, therefore, in fourth place. Two games back of uh, of 500, and it does beg the question, are we going to be around next year? Because let's not forget that we have a demanding um, owner who wanted a, a, a winning record, or at least a 500 record. We haven't done that. At least the bullpen, how has our bullpen ERA improved? That's, that tells a story, doesn't it? Uh, we finished with the exact same record as the last season the team had, and they sacked the manager last season, didn't they? So... There we go. That is it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We'll be back next time. We'll have our end-of-season awards, and then we'll play through the off-season, get ready for either Season 2 at the Flamingos, or if we do get sacked, we'll end up looking for a new job. But let's hope that we get a second chance at this, because I don't think we're that far away. It's just the bullpen that we need to tidy up. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I don't think we're too far away. But anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Until then, I've been Aussie Villain. Take care.